smooth sounds on a Thursday. Welcome back, everybody. Trans Day of Visibility is on March 31st. And to raise awareness, the Trans People of Color program is releasing a cookbook featuring favorite recipes from their members. Talking to us today is Mariana or Mariana Cortez, one of the cooks featured, as well as a TPOC leader and trans activist in the community. Good morning, Mariana. How are you? Hey, good morning. I'm a key. Thank you. Let's talk about this cookbook. How did it come together? Yeah, so basically the whole idea came from like we was we were looking to have more diversity and representation for trans people in media because we noticed that all, a lot of the representation that uh, our community has is really negative, is really you know, it's really marginalized, it's really derogatory in many ways. So we were trying to you know what I mean to create a book where everybody could be could be part of it, our community, and they can explain or uh, share their special recipes through a cooking book. Yeah. And it's chock full of delicious, healthy recipes because it's so important, right, to physical health, mental health. You want to eat well. It makes you feel great. But there's more than just recipes. What else is in there? Yeah, I think that whole, also, like, like a lot of times people struggle having basic access to, like, to food. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was something really important for us to be mindful, like, that all the recipes that we create, they're, they're affordable, accessible, uh, and they're healthy, you know, like that is, is not only about comfort food, but also like food is really good for, for your body and that's gonna have a direct impact on your mental health. Yes, do you have a favorite recipe in there? Yeah, I, well, I have my recipe there. Yeah. <laughs> that is like, uh, it's a chicken stew, we call it, in Colombia it's called, it's named Sancocho, but like mm. uh, with my community back there, we changed the name to Transcocha just to make like a political statement. And yeah, it's basically like a chicken stew. And I, call, I like to call it like chicken stew for the soul because oh. like, yeah, like, you know, it is one of those dishes that you have and you feel like safe and warm mm -hmm. and full. Yeah, it's delicious. Though. Satiating. And there's something about creating your own meal and then uh. being able to sit down, enjoy it. And it just fills you in the best way possible. And you feel like I accomplished something. It's great. Like everyone has more time to cook right now, which is one of the silver linings of the pandemic. And I know uh. there's a give back portion of sales for this cookbook too, right? Yeah, so basically what we're trying to do also is to get funding for our program and for the, all of the, the programs related to trans people at the finding team, which is the organization that uh, has this, create this book. Uh, so basically, like, so you have two options. You can go to the, uh, there's a website, to the find it, uh, that org organization, and then you can go there. You can book the, uh, you can buy the, the book through uh, the website. You can buy it, like, online if you just want to have the PDF, or if you want to have a physical, uh, like, a physical copy, you can order that there. And then, yeah, part of the money <clears throat> is going to be go back to work program and other programs related to, for trans people. Yeah. I love it. Okay, Trans Day of Visibility we mentioned is March 31st, so less than a week away. It's Wednesday. Why is it so important? And what do you hope people get from it? And how can everybody else get involved? I think it's really important just because we do need more representation for trans people in, in general, in every in every sense, right? Like we want trans people to have uh, more power positions and to be more uh, respected, like with all our rights to be like accomplished, right? Uh, so I think it's important just to remind that we are here, that we are still, we are alive, that we exist, and then we are good people. Like you know what I'm saying? Like people, trans people are not dangerous. We are in danger. So like it's just uh, an important day to you know to remember all the resilience and all the fights that we had fought in order to be like alive, basically. You're amazing. You're a great spokesperson, and thanks for sharing these beautiful <laughs> recipes with us too to nourish us, Mariana. Thank you so much. Did you want to say one more thing? Yeah, no, that's I was going just to mention if you wanna if you wanna be like an ally or you wanna do something about it, like I think just reading, getting information about it, you know, you can Google organizations that are working for trans people rights and like maybe support them economically. If you can just honestly just Google, just get information, just start conversations in your workplace and with your family. And if you have a business, hire us. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hire you and reach out. There's always help and somebody to listen and talk to. Love to you. Thanks, Marianne. Have a great day. Coming up wow. next, Nicole is on the hunt for a mythical creature. I feel like she's going to be looking for a while. What could it be? Oh, there she is. Oh, oh. Plus, we are celebrating. What is that? Celebrating your birthdays and anniversaries. <gasps> right after this, what is she hunting for? The Sasquatch.